Hello, everyone. We are here to talk about the ASC Student Competition, which is a student competition that you could participate in while you're at UCSD. My name is Guy Young, and I'm the captain of the 2019 to 2020 Heavy Civil Team. I'm a fourth year structural engineering student, specializes in civil structures, and I'm from Beijing, China. Hello, everyone. My name is Amar Sino. I'm, I was the captain of the 2019-2020 Design Build Team. I'm a second year structural engineering student specializing in civil structures, and I'm from Orange County, California. What exactly is the ASC competition? It is an annual event held in Reno, Nevada in February. The competition has different categories and the main categories that our school participate in is, are the heavy civil and design build. The competition is in the, in the form of a hackathon and a team of six students. The, each team is given 15 hours to prepare a bid package for a real life construction project. What this means is that we are asked to present a binder full of cost analysis or project analysis of a given construction projects that are presented to us at the competition. Sometimes in this, during this period, no internet is allowed. A lot, of, a lot of schools participate in this competition. So our main competitors include Cal Poly SLO, Central Washington University, and California State University of Sacramento, et cetera, et cetera. So leading up in preparation to the competition, we trained with two industry sponsors. The heavy civil team was trained by Flatiron Incorporated and the design build team was trained by Clark Construction. Training started shortly after the end of spring quarter and into the summer and up until the competition date, which is the beginning of February. And we learned a lot about a lot, a lot of construction knowledge that we aren't given in class. For example, the impact cost, scheduling, and other Unfortunately, other certain um, restrictions that are put in place on during an actual design or during construction, which are not discussed during our classes. Next, I'll talk more into detail about the heavy civil uh, category. Uh, so. It's still in the same form as we discussed before, but the teams are presented with heavy civil projects to bid on. Those projects usually are the construction of roadways and bridges. Um, so many of the practice problems the teams do are taken from real Caltrans projects. Uh, through this whole competition and the training, the team really gets to understand how different aspects of a heavy civil project comes together. For example, like how paving, earthquake drainage would fit together in a project to expand the freeway. Um, this is the competition that restricts the use of Wi-Fi during that 15 hour period. So the team really has to rely on our prior knowledge and trainings and all the resources gathered before the competition to perform well. As mentioned before, this team trains with flat iron at their San Diego office. The team is usually comprised of second to fourth year students. How it works is that first year student will come in and start training in their first year. And then the following year, which is their second year, they will compete in the competition. At the competition, the problem is sponsored by Granite Construction. So the team gets to interact with a lot of people from Granite Construction, such as their PMs, their regional directors, their engineers. And this is our second year competing in this heavy civil category. And we performed pretty well in the past two years. The late last year, the year just passed, we uh, placed fourth against 16 other schools. So the design build team this year was our first year competing in the competition. We were trained, as I said earlier, uh, by Clark Construction, which we feel was a great experience because they actually did a design build contract with our school, UC San Diego, and building the new Six College. The design build contract type is a construction type where the general contractor is involved in the design process with the architect. So that was cool to see how the, the client, UC San Diego, the general, contract, general contractor, Clark, and the architect all worked together to create this amazing new college. The problem sponsor was Swinerton for this year, and we worked hand in hand with them throughout when, while we were in Reno to, to complete the project and to sell ourselves to the judges as the competition is based upon how you sell yourself and how you show that you're the best school to, com to complete the project given. 
and we placed in the middle one third in our first year, which isn't too bad, but we would like to follow in the, in the same direction as the heavy seal team and hopefully place in the top three next year. And the biggest thing we learned through this was seeing the design build process at our school, which was really an eye opening experience for all of us. So a lot of knowledge was gained from this competition. Some not technical, but soft skills that we benefited from. But on a technical basis, we learned a lot about estimating using softwares like PDX or using softwares like Excel. And then for scheduling, we actually used P6, which give us an accurate description of how long something will take given on how, how long the client wants the project to, 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 to take. And then we also learned a lot about teamwork as a, as a group of six, we were, we have to all make sure that we're all working towards one goal and making sure that we're all helping each other complete that goal. Well, we also developed a lot of industry connections, not only with Clark Construction, but with our sponsors, Winterton and with AGC, which is the Associate General Contractors in San Diego. And we all, and they were looking to actually develop more connections with UC San Diego students. So it was a great way to meet new people and get yourself into industry that a possible career that you wouldn't think of before. And then the biggest thing I think we learned is all about presentation skills and soft skills, learning how to sell yourself, learning how to communicate your ideas is a key element and not just in construction, but in any career. And I, we all learned a great deal about that. And then we also learned a lot about working under pressure. You're only given a certain amount of time. And if you do not complete the project under that time limit, you're unqualified, which puts a lot of pressure on making sure that we complete everything, but at the same time, we complete it on time. Ultimately, the goal is for uh, students to get excited about construction, about engineering. Uh, the teams do a lot of this and the competition itself does a lot of this. For example, we do a lot of team bonding during training. I think the whole training experience was a team bonding uh, opportunity. Like we train at 5 a.m. every week. So it is something that we will all share uh, throughout as long as the team are together. Um, and then the picture on the right shows that we're at a banquet at the competition. A lot of schools attend this banquet, so it is a great opportunity for us to meet other engineering students from other schools, not so different from ourselves, and to just discuss um, our uh, passions in engineering. Also, we get to spend time in Reno, it's just like a couple of days off from school, um, but we still get to learn a lot of things that we'll never ever learn from our regular classes. And lastly, the interaction with the industry people in a casual setting is something really fun for uh, me, at least. Um, it's not only during the training that we get to interact with Flatiron and Clark Construction people, but even during the competition, they provide a hospitality suites from other companies that we get to uh, socialize. That's when we get to socialize with uh, industry professionals from other companies and we get to uh, bounce off ideas with them. It's just a really a way for us to practice our networking skills and a fun way to go about uh, doing what we love. With that being said, that concludes our short presentation on I the ASC competition and thank you for listening. Thank you for listening.